What was oh. that? It is a military jet going over. Holy shit. Yeah, it's going to be good. Give it a couple. All you can hear is the wobbly. The wobbly sounds. Yep. It's a military jet. Commercial jets don't fly low enough to make that noise here. No. <laughs> When we're really lucky, we get helicopters, and my windows go. Are they just like circling? No fucking idea. Uh, maybe North Korea launched their nuclear bomb at us. Who knows? You know what the fuck are they doing? This is it. Usually doesn't take this long to go by. Yeah, I'm gonna check CNN. Oh, the fuck? No, that's just a garbage truck. I can't see anything on this side. It must be on the other side of the house. It is really frustrating when you're like trying to record something and this one of these fuckers just comes and it's like you're waiting for five minutes for it to pass. Yeah. It's not that bad. It just it just sounds like, you know, things extra almost like wind blowing in the background. Yeah. That what you're doing there is a lot worse. Chewing. You shouldn't chew, you should just swallow. <laughs> you like you like white people? You know, it's interesting because I can actually, your breathing is louder than your chewing. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you like crackers? You like crackers? I'm sorry, did I just end up on chat roulette somehow? <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, it's been really quiet these last couple of weeks for some reason. Mm. Well, not right now, because I'm chewing. No. Mm. Well, you're really distorted, eh? What? This? It's, no. Like, your whole image is, like, completely blurred. Oh, really? This looks fine on my end. I'm sure it's okay going to Google, uh, or, sorry, to YouTube, but um, yeah, it's mm -hmm. not streaming in well for me. That's okay. I'm sure it's fine. Oh. Alright, there you go. Now you're all back to normal. So the the USB stick and the SIM card have done the trick. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't I haven't I haven't had the hide nor hair of mother since I uh since I plugged that stuff in. The Same. only pain in the ass is he only gave us one, so I'm constantly having to move it from machine to machine. I can only have one machine on at a time. Kind of cramps my style, you know. You're you're moving it around. I've left it in my main computer, and all the computers that we have in our house are not affected. You didn't think to mention that to me. Well, I mean, it, it didn't it didn't come up. Like I didn't know you were going to be moving it around. I was just told well, why you need to why plug it in. Well, I guess they must have made it so it was idiot proof, because uh, yeah. yeah. you'd think it would only it would only protect the computer it was actually plugged into. No, man, it's high-tech. So, you know what's not high-tech, though? What? What's that? Crackers, when they go stale. Are they stale, those crackers? And I can't stop eating them. <laughs> I'll throw them all over my phone. So, I was watching some of your old videos. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you got yep. fat. <laughs> you need to lose some weight. You need to stop eating those fucking crackers. I don't know. I don't know do how some, that happened. And do some push-ups. I have no idea. I got, it's, it's interesting. It's like the reverse. I got skinnier and you got bigger. Mm -hmm. your how did that got, happen? Your hair got shorter. Yeah. And mine stayed the same. Yours stayed the same. Yeah. Well, no, no. Yours used to be a bit longer because there was that one where you're slicking it back to go to work. If I this is um, I got a haircut like maybe three weeks ago, mm -hmm. and it's already starting to grow back. And Eleni's complaining that it's too long. What is it with girls that complaining about hair getting too long? I don't know. Or maybe it's just the type of girl that I date. Yeah, it could be because because uh, I love I don't, having I don't short get hair. no I don't get no complaints from the ladies. Yeah, no, I like having long hair. Especially like mullet hair. You know, when I'm going to play hockey. Hockey. Yeah. In your car. Yeah. Driving. With barb. 
Go on and get some Tim's. Speaking of Canadian, the Rim changed their name to Blackberry. No one cares. Well, the people who used to make jokes about getting a Rim job, maybe they care. It's no, a lot. It's a bit harder to make fun of Blackberry than than Rim, really. I I would say getting a research in motion job. Yeah, see that that also isn't funny. Oh, I see. You mean for the joke? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of jobs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that so it's great. So the the USB key okay it takes care of mother. Uh, I uh, I got my I got my flight back. No problems going through immigration. Uh, yeah, except the record of my arrest hasn't been erased completely. Or it is, it is, it's gone, it's out of the system. But the problem is, my em various employers have been notified, and I no longer have any work. Because mm, okay. even though there's no official record of it anymore, uh, well, how does yeah, that work? Nobody there? wants to be. Nobody wants to be. You got deported, so technically, doesn't your job stay safe? I mean, is that your fault? How, how do you, you figure? Got... Well, I mean. No, no, if you get, generally, if you get arrested for anything, even if you don't end up uh, being found guilty or getting charged with a crime, right. uh, you're, a lot of employers will drop you like a hot potato because it's like their reputation, they don't want their reputation to really? be sullied. And usually, I've, I've, um, usually I'd be relatively insulated from that because I'm a contractor, but the fact is most of my work has been coming from like one or two companies these days, and they both drop me like a hot potato. They don't want anything to do with me anymore. Wow. So yeah. I'm just sort of I'm scrounging around like a few sort of personal jobs. I'm working with a I'm helping a couple of ladies set up their computers, which is immensely frustrating. <laughs> My God, I'd rather I'd all. rather be I'd rather be troubleshooting a Windows NT uh, you know server than you're you're setting tech up, setting supporting up Windows. old I'm ladies. Supporting. I'm like a I'm like a tech support gigolo. Wow. <laughs> this is this is the mighty have fallen. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm, I gotta say, I'm just really lucky. I live cheaply because otherwise, I'd be totally fucked right now. Mm -hmm. Well, looking back, um, the last thing I remember us talking about, what was it? It was your it was your girlfriend getting pregnant. Yeah. So I'm wondering, maybe her jealous streak peaked at that moment. Yeah, maybe. What what's the reasoning behind that? That jealous streak. I don't know. I mean, I think we gave her 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 personality is the internet. So, I mean, oh. come on. What do people on the internet like? Reality shows and and women scratching each other's eyes out over men. Like, you know, it's funny. We've never been able to really talk about her until she's yeah. gone. You know, isn't exactly. that usually the case? Like she's out of our life now. So now we we keep coming back to her we keep seeming to having conversations about her yeah yeah and no and now that she, she can't around, eavesdrop yeah anyway i don't want to talk to her about her anymore all right but um speaking of the internet they, i found this cool program uh, the other week uh by uh, mit uh i don't know if there's students i think there's students there y you saw the you saw the article that i sent you right Anyway, it's called Air Mobs. It's an app that you install on your Android phone that shares your data with uh, individuals who say your, your data plan. It shares your data plan, not your data. No, the data plan. Yeah. Okay. To be more specific, and so they can tether off of you, uh, but it, payment is uh, our, our credits as opposed to cash. And then if you find yourself in another city or whatever, and somebody else has that app on their phone you can connect using the credits that you've received from other people and it's this like nice little community and i think it's a great idea i think that's mm. that's the whole point of you know being connected is 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 to be able to share all this information and uh, the problem is yeah. the people who will actually install that app are the people who have the highest data use probably yeah what you really want ideally is you want to get the grannies to install it you know, who who don't use their data, who have a data plan but don't use it and have extra bandwidth. No, you're still getting credits, though. 
Yeah, but a credit doesn't do you any good if you if you totally if it totally tops out your own if you hit your if you hit your limit. Yeah, on your that's data plan. That's true. So yeah, they're, they're going to be using your six gigs, and and also doesn't this uh, doesn't a security doesn't this become like a security thing where uh, um, someone's someone's downloading torrents on their phone, and believe me, there are people that I know that are, that are still doing that. Well, first of all, anyone who downloads a torrent on their phone is a fucking idiot. Because <laughs> there's better ways of doing that. Right. Two, there's the, you. I mean, you can you can basically you can limit the number of simultaneous connections, which basically fuck with any torrenting. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. You limit to like to like some. Well, you'd hope that, that that's in the Air Mops app, right? Oh yeah, no, they probably will. I mean, yeah. and there might be there might be like um there might be a limitation of, uh, it might be a limitation of anyone who connects through your using your bandwidth in terms of how much they can use within a given time frame or something like that. Mm-hmm. But again, you know, as you say, if they're paying for it in credits, who cares? Yeah. Uh, the yeah, the only issue I would see with it is that yeah, you you basically your own bandwidth gets your own bandwidth gets devoured, and you've got credits. But if nobody else is sharing, then you're mm-hmm. fucked. Yeah. So the ideal thing, I mean, I said this before. I would I wanted to set up something like this in Tokyo, like a a decent free Wi-Fi thing, where people just set it up on their on their routers. And if it's oh, it's just, like a you know just a you set it up like it's not, everyone everyone just puts basically it's it's um it's either a box you plug into your existing router mm-hmm. or it's it's a setting you know for if you're more technically competent it's a it's a setting you put uh, on your on your router and the idea is that anyone who's within range can then use your bandwidth because in Japan our home bandwidth is pretty much unlimited. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's unlimited and it they really don't. You get a few letters if you the people if you do a lot of torrenting or something like that. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot. You had to do a lot, and you had to be on. And certain certain carriers care, and certain carriers don't. Um, yeah. But the idea the idea was with this thing that you could walk pretty much anywhere in Tokyo, or Yokohama, and oh, there's we called it Gorilla Net. Oh, there's GorillaNet, so I'm going to I'm going to connect to that, and it would be fucking instant connection. None of this like web page re- registration yeah, crap. Yeah. yeah. No identifying by, you know, basically it's anonymous. It's anonymous access, but then everything happens through it through a VPN, so that, for instance, if I'm if I'm hosting one, then if so if someone does something illegal, it does it's not coming from my IP. It's coming from the GorillaNet IP. Oh, right. Okay. You know, which is an NPO, but I mean, we just pass we just pass packets, so mm-hmm. it's sort of an anonymizer as well. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say that th- this this could be a problem because now, um, you know, your ISP is gonna is gonna look at your IP and say, oh, well, you were downloading, you know, something illegal, and well, I think that's I mean, if they're smart, that's how they'll do it. Is basically, our moms will be. Uh, like a VPN solution, mm-hmm. so that there should, there should be some sort of notification saying that. Oh, and and that's the other issue too. Okay, there there should be some sort of indication so that it tells the ISP, I am now sharing this uh, this connection with somebody else. But I think on the in the article that I read too, they were saying the guy's reluctant um, from putting the uh, the app itself onto uh, Google Play because he's worried that the um, the providers are going to complain about it, saying, "No, you can't do this," um, because you're essentially reselling. And it's like, "Well, I'm paying for it, so who gives a shit? Why do? What do you care?" Yeah, and it's not like you're not reselling at a premium. No, you're not really reselling. It's more like you're trading, and yeah. you're trading in things that aren't money. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? There's a value to it, but it's not money. You're trading credits for for use. And so it really shouldn't matter. But basically, the reason it matters is because their whole business model is based on the fact that they give you six gigs, and most people won't use one. Yeah. Right. And so if it gets starts getting spread around, and everybody uses all yeah, six because amount. they're yeah. sharing, mm-hmm. then they're kind of fucked. Yeah, but and also they're losing out on the roaming charges that they they charge other telcos, like AT and T. Let's say um, uh, AT and T customers coming up to Canada. Uh, and using the Rogers network now, Rogers isn't getting. No, Rogers is charging the AT and T network a certain amount, which is why roaming charges are so ridiculous, right? Well, Rogers roaming charges, particularly, I don't know if it's changed, but 
Mm-hmm. Was it in 2006 or 2007? I was in Canada, and it was like it was fifty dollars per packet. Per packet, uh, for you coming from Japan, you mean, and, and using like roaming. Any, if you were on Rogers with a non-Rogers phone, it was fifty bucks per packet. Oh, okay, I had a right. two thousand dollar bill. Wow. On that trip. Holy snikes. Yeah. Luckily, it was uh, a company bill, not personal. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I got I got kind of reamed out over that. Was that, that one. when? Was that when you went uh, for that training? Yeah. And I came, picked you up, and and drove you that time to work. Uh yeah, it was this no no because it trip? was uh, I was in no no it was at the time I was in BC. Oh I see okay all right. I was in BC because I was yeah because I had to use GPS a couple times while I was there. I got lost in Vancouver, so mm-hmm. I I fired up my G- I had a I had a separate internet tablet and a GPS device, but I needed to use my phone to load the maps. Okay yeah yeah two thousand two thousand dollars worth of maps. <laughs> wow, unbelievable! And now they have the. Uh... The Google Maps thing where you can download the the section that you're going to be in, uh, so you don't have to actually load in, which is nice. It um, is really nice. It doesn't work everywhere though, because they don't have the yeah, that the rights to the map, and I don't think they have the rights to the maps in all countries to do um, caching. Oh really? I'm not sure it works in Japan. I did it in uh, I did it in Montreal. But yeah, it works in Canada. You, to be honest with you, I can't remember if it actually did work. It'll work in Canada. If it worked in Toronto, it'll work in Montreal. Yeah, it has to, right? I mean, they have an office there. I even took a picture of the office. Not that that matters. Most of those offices are are sales offices anyway. Yeah, see, it can't do it in Japan. No? It won't let you? Offline maps not available in selected areas is what it says there. Underneath? Yeah. Wow, how can you read Japanese? It's in English. Yeah, I know. Um... So no, I can't do it in, can't do it in Japan. They don't have the because the provider of the maps doesn't allow them to cash, to, to store. Well, I'm it. never coming to Japan <laughs> unless I get a good package from my provider. <clears throat> now, excuse me, I'm just going to drink a little blood. <laughs> I have a. That, is, your, your, that doesn't even look like. It doesn't even look like blood. It looks like um. If, if that's blood, it's from it's from the Kool Aid Man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Did you hear that? It was, that was Godzilla. My, that was my favorite line in Elf. When you let that big burp out. Uh, that was such a great show. No, no movie. You know wait, what? wait, Alf. I thought you said Alf. No, not not alien life form. Because he also he also burped and said things like that. Did he burp? Yeah, I guess he did. Eh. Blah. Yeah. Man, whoever wrote that show must have been a drug addict. It was pretty bad. I liked it at the time, but like in retrospect, it's just awful. It's awful. It was my dad's favorite show. <laughs> 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 he loved that show. What? I am not joking. I don't understand that. We we are my parents used to have that restaurant, right? And hmm. um I don't know when it was on. If it was like a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night and it was on and there was like there was like some sports show on on TV and my dad's like, "I'm sorry, but I have to put Alf on." And so he put it on, and he made everybody in the restaurant watch it, because he had to work that night. <laughs> he loved that show. I don't know why. He just thought he thought he was hilarious. I think it, I think it was like one of those, um, like um, Jonathan Winter, or you know, like one of those old comedians. But he was like a he was an he was a puppet, you know, like right. he was always wisecracking and he was telling all these things, all these jokes and stuff. I think, I think he wants to eat cats, but he never catches. He never catches the cat. <laughs> it's so funny. It, it reminds me of my brother Spiro when he tried to catch the cat for his restaurant, <laughs> so he can make a good souvlaki. Ah, that elf. <laughs> and then, and then the other thing that my dad used to do was was convince me that that everybody everybody in the entertainment industry was Greek. So, so like Jim Jim Carrey was Jim Carreyopolis. 
You know? It's like I saw I saw his father on the Greek show. He was being interviewed. He's Greek. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's like I know he's from Toronto. He isn't though. He's not from Toronto. I think he's from Kitchener. Then Sorry, he's from Newmarket. He probably, he's from Newmarket. Okay, there you go. Yeah, not north of the city. I was gonna say that he, my dad probably thought Alf was Greek. <laughs> Alphopolis. Right. Yeah. No, it's Speaking a shame which, though. That thing is. I'm out of crackers. Oh, I thought that was an empty condom. <laughs> Large size. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, is there any other size? <laughs> Sque squeezing out the good stuff. That's gonna, classy. I'm going to see the doctor for this. <laughs> hmm. Oh, man. Tastes like blood. Anyway. Well, good luck finding a job. If you need any help, uh, you know, with your resume, um, I'll send, uh, you have Eleni's email, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's really good at that. I'm not. No, I know. I was. I thought you were gonna offer, and I was like, "No, I've seen your resume, dude. I don't want." Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, my resume. It's, it's in crayon. My resume is not only in crayon; it's on construction paper. The headhunters eat it up, man. And by eat it up, you mean put it in the shredder? No, I think they fold it up and make airplanes out of it. <laughs> give it, give it to their kids. Uh, Look what an adult gave me, son. It's for you. <laughs> Anyway, I think we should get going because I got some right. work to do. Okay. And, uh, oh, man, I got a day off this week. I don't have to go in that shithole. I'm going to get some uh, get some writing done. I think I might be shooting something else soon. So, no, that, might be, that would be good. Yeah. Well, I've been working on the Empire movie, and but I'm going to be working out on something else on the side, I think. so. Like a porno? No, 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 no. Somebody's not actually no. paying me to do some stuff, so it's good, which is exciting. Right, nobody would pay you to do a porno. No, no, no. I mean, to edit it, maybe, but, you know. Yeah, but they wouldn't pay you because you'd be too excited about it. You wouldn't have to get, you wouldn't, you'd do it for free. i do it for free? Yeah. Yeah. Every, I'd, have to take, I'd have to take 15-minute breaks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my week. So I guess I'll talk to you next week, buddy. All right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, peace out and fuck off. All right, buddy. And I will see you online.